Hello everybody, thanks for joining us today and coming back to the channel. This video is going to be a look at this painting here. It's a nice little gold abstract piece that I've just finished here. Uh, it's only quite small, it's um, 10 inches by 12 inches on a stretch canvas. So I'll just take you a whiz around the painting itself and I'll talk more about the paint that I use for this one. So firstly, I um, I painted the uh, the background gold. I used a brush initially, then I went over it with a sponge to get a nice even kind of coverage. Otherwise, it just wasn't um, kind of covering the whole area. So I wanted it nice and uniform. Gold is very difficult to show on film. Actually, I've got a light on here, but I don't know if it's going to show it good enough. And then I just went over and uh, sponge painted the top of it. It's got about three layers on. Went right around the edges. Always do the edges, so it gives it a nice polished finish. Now the actual painting itself, um, I didn't use as a, with a brush as you can see, I actually used one of these trusty old palette knives here and this was, uh, I think it's a cheap one I got in the, the works which is a, a range of um, shops you get in the UK, you might be familiar with them. They're kind of good actually for art materials, I don't buy paint in there because the paint isn't that good quality but things like this um, you know, kind of handy about right, looking at this, this is not from the range but the rest of the marks, I'm, I'm lying, this is a Winsor & Newton one. But um, you can get very, very good um, tools like this. I usually use plastic ones, actually, you can get disposable ones if you don't want ones like this. And um, so basically I use that to layer on this colour here, which it looks black, but it's not actually, it's a Prussian blue. But obviously on the gold, it looks kind of black. If you get the colour, uh, it comes through when you put a light on, it will come more blue. And then again, with the sides of the knife, I just uh, kind of dragged that across. And then I just went over it with the white. Now the, what I've done with the white to give it more of a 3D effect, the white, I've done white lines to the left of every um, every dark, every dark blue and again I've done the white underneath every dark blue line so it's kind of coming, the light, if you like, it's coming from this angle looking up. I kind of like to do that on paintings to give it a light, on abstract to give it a light direction. All too often people just slap stuff on and if you don't give it a light direction, sometimes you can actually lose a bit of the painting. It doesn't give it quite so much depth. Don't always do it, but most of the time I will. So for this particular painting, I use a mixture of paints. For the Prussian blue, I used uh, this System 3, which is from De La um, I just used a tube of this. This is quite a small tube for me. It's only about, I'm thinking, 75 mil, something like that. No, 150 it might be. And these are quite good value. Um, quite useful. I usually, usually use bigger pots than that. And then for the white I used a platinum white. This is by Winsor & Newton. I have to say I don't often use Winsor & Newton these days because the quality is not that great if you're doing large areas. If you're covering large areas I find the pigment isn't that fantastic. Um, to be totally honest it used to be made in France years ago which was absolutely great and then they moved production to China. Since it moved to China the quality of the paint has not been good so I, I don't use it that much for larger areas and then for the gold um, I used this by Jackson's now Jackson's are a great art supply shop they're online but they haven't got an outlet in Gloucester actually which is not far away from where I live which is kind of handy I've got a trade counter there I tried this for the first time actually this is their own range of paints it, um, it's got a very kind of small um, aperture for the opening which is quite good if you want to squirt stuff straight onto the canvas it is quite runny, it's a bit runnier than I would like, but um, for what I used it for, it was absolutely fine. And you do get quite a good indication of what the colour looks like on here, so that is quite true to life actually. Um, quite good value, I think this pot was about, I'm going to say five, six pounds, something like that. And again, this is about, this is 250 mil, so that's not too bad. I might use some more Jacksons, I'm not too sure, I kind of need to experiment. But most of the products are really good, they do stock a lot of different products. Um, I'm a bit of a fan of the company, mainly because it is um, is fairly local. But as a rule, I tend to use De La Roni System 3 or, or products by De La Roni, which I quite like. Cause they're made in the UK, which I'm really quite keen on, and the quality is very good. Um, so that's where I am at the moment. So there we go. So that's a look at the painting there. And uh, hopefully it gives you a good idea what the painting looks like. It's got a bit of a texture here. And again, it's one of those things when you get the light on metallic, it does change if I kind of whiz it around. That is probably quite um, true to life, actually. I haven't got too much reflection on it there. That's probably true to life, what it actually looks like. But obviously, with the, I've got a light above this, you tend to get a bit of a sheen on it. 
for it. Um, anyway, there we go. So that's a look at the latest painting. And if you're interested, please give the old um, video a thumbs up. That'd be absolutely super. And feel free to subscribe to the channel. It doesn't cost anything. It's absolutely free. And you'll get a notification if you hit the bell each time I post a new video. Just have a look at what I'm up to. About 250 something videos on there at the moment. <laughs> so I'm trying to up my video production on this. Uh, just so it gives the people a good idea of what I produce. And please feel free to go back, have a look at the back catalogue. There's a lot of uh, lot of stuff there to look at. You might just find something you like where most of it is actually sold. Uh, I don't carry much stock at the moment. So there you go. Thanks a lot for your time. Feel free to uh, like the video and share. No problem with that at all. Thanks a lot for your time. Feel free to comment and check back soon for more videos. You take care now. Bye bye.